42 killed, many abducted as bandits attack Benue community. No fewer than 42 persons were reportedly killed in separate in, in separate attacks in two local government two local council of Benue State in the past two days. The Guardian gathered that the attacks took place in Castina Ala and Gwei West local government council of the state. Residents in the affected communities of the Shikam, Bangena, and, and Pav, who spoke on the condition of anonymity, said the attackers, suspected to be Fulani headsmen, invaded their community in the early hours of Thursday and started killing people. According to them, by the time the thirst settled the dust settled about 36 dead bodies were evacuated however a military source told newsmen that 19 people were actually killed in castina ala local council and attributed the act to be local bandits according to the military source it is true that 19 people were killed in some villages in Castina Ala local council yesterday, Thursday, but it was carried out by local bandits in the area. In the West local council, it was gathered that six people were reportedly killed, while several others were abducted along along Naka Makodi Road yesterday, Friday. Confirming the attack and killings, the chairman of the local council, Mrs. Grace Ibabon, says some suspected Fulani headsmen attack a community close to Makodi and kill five people while many others were abducted. Some suspected Fulani invaded, invaded Tinada on the way by on the way to Makodi and attacked villagers and travelers. We were holding a stakeholders meeting yesterday between 4 and 5 p.m. when people from Tinada village called me that they were attacked on their on their they were attacked on their village. They said five people were killed. Later, I later gathered that the attackers were laid passengers on the Naka Makodi Highway and kidnapped some people, including a woman and her child. Up to now, their whereabouts are unknown, she said. The chairman also confirmed that there was an exchange of gunfire between Fulani headsmen and villagers at Mpama village, at Mbakpa village yesterday morning. Even this morning at Mbakpa village, there was exchange of fire between Fulani and the villagers. One person was reportedly killed, she said, adding that she had reported the incident to security operatives. When contacted, the Benue State Police, the Benue State Police Public Relations Officer, DPRO, DSP, Katrin Anne, confirmed the attack on Way West, saying five people were killed. She asked Eva, said she was yet to get the report of the incident in Castinala local council. Benue again. What we are saying is that when does this attack on villages, on states, on community going to end? Where is it going to end? I believe that when something has started, it will be a time that it will end. So no doubt, one day it will end. Because the act of destruction and killings has become worrisome. And many Nigerians are tired of the whole things. Benue again. You know, Benue State has faced a lot of troubles for many years ago and the trouble is still lingering and the trouble there is full and men and i ask a question again 
when will the whole things come to an end? Why is it that Fulani Hens men came on board just to kill people, terrorizing people, empty the whole community? This time around, it's not a cow again. You know, Fulani Hens men are attacking villages, communities, and just started killing people. If you look at the content of this news, they just attacked the village in Makodi and they started killing people. This time around, it's not their cow eating people's farm anymore. This one is killing people. And when is it going to come to an end? So it's like, you know, people are crying and asking government to come into the issue and bring a lasting solution to the issue. But government has not done anything since then. If I may ask the question, what is the grievances of the Fulani headsmen? What is the grievances? That is why it was alleged that they were sent to do what they are doing. This is what President Mohamed Buhari and the people within him have gathered. This is their mission. That we put Fulani headsmen forward first to attack people, eliminate people. And all of these things is to take over the state and their local states. That is what they want to do. If not, we have not heard this such a thing before. So the truth is not far-fetched from what I'm saying. Benway State again, killing all over, destruction of lives and property. And yet, we have not felt the impact of the government. So, it is high time that government should wake up from her sleep and slumber. Because to continue to waste human life, I don't know what is the, uh, I mean, what is the gain of the government doing that. So, I, I, I want to ask a question. Does it, you know, the, 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 the police has gathered that it was bandit that attacked the village. Why some persons were saying this, it, it was not bandit, but Fulani headsmen. Who were actually there? Who were the eyewitness? The police or the community? So we do not know what this country has turned into. But what we are saying is this. It is only God that can help Nigeria's situation. Because as we are here right now, no government. Yes, no government. Don't tell me that Nigeria has go There's no government. You understand? What we have in this country is ordinary people that came. They came as human, but they are devil. That is what we have. There is no government. And one day, Buhari and his men should not be surprised. And other people powerful than them will take over them. That is how it always, always happen. God cannot make mistake. If you look at the Bible, it happens like that.